Hey, what's up everybody? Today's video is just a quick course walkthrough of my Jazz Piano Evolutions course and the techniques contained within it. So this video is for you to see what the course looks like and if this course might be a really great fit for you. I'll explain how it works and what's actually inside of it. And you'll get a sneak peek at the course portal. So if you're not at all interested in taking a course with me, you can click out of this video. But if you think this might actually be a great option for you, then I suggest you stick around and check it out. We're gonna go through it together and I'm really excited to show it to you. So let's dive right into it. All right, so when you purchase my Jazz Piano Evolutions course, this is what it looks like in the course portal. Now, the thing about this course is the entire point is we are basically going to work on techniques that are specifically designed to give you better hand independence and then actually apply more improvisational techniques to songs. Now, that sounds a little vague, so that's why I'm gonna actually show you what is in this course. All right, so when you first log into the course, this is what you're going to see. This is the home page. And you'll notice on the left side, we have all of these different units. We ended up having 12 different units in the course. I like to think of the course as four different pillars. And the first pillar is dissonance absorption. So what does that mean? Well, one thing that I've noticed is that there are not a lot of great ways out there to essentially systematically in a step-by-step -step clear way, really learn how to not only play out, but also hear dissonance properly so that you can instantly recognize it and know how to use it yourself. So I have a lot of different methodologies built into this course with something called dissonance absorption. But let's say that we had like an F major seven. Well, I want you to be able to instantly recognize what does it sound like when we play E major over that and being able to play in and resolve out as well. That's a really important part of what you'll learn in this course. So here's what it looked like, right? We open up unit one and then we have all of these different systematic progressions of methodology built right in here. Now these little check marks are actually showing you your progress. Have you actually um, read and or watched these videos? So some of these are gonna be just text and they're gonna show you actually, you know, an introduction to some of the materials, but then you're gonna come here and you'll see some of them are actually videos. And you click play and you end up having a whole video in, in the lesson here, right? And we continue on. And this is the way the course is structured. It's all very, very organized. You go one step at a time and it's really going to walk you through a deep methodology for actually being able to hear when you yourself or other players play outside the box, when they play outside of the chord changes. Again, I haven't seen this type of methodology anywhere else. Personally, I'm sure it exists, but I worked really, really hard to make this as incredible and easy for you to understand as possible. And I genuinely believe that if you follow these steps, it is going to absolutely open up your ears to levels that you have not experienced before. So unit one and unit two are working directly on these dissonance concepts. But of course, built in is a lot of application. So we might try this with pentatonic lines as opposed to simply chromatic lines. We might actually go and try two-handed improvisational concepts. So another part of this course is going to be taking both of your hands and making them super usable. Instead of just always defaulting to the same old boring left hand comps, right hand solos, I want you actually to be able to do a lot more interesting and fun things so that both of your hands can improvise together in fun and interesting ways. So these next two units, units three and four, are dedicated to really upping your voicing and harmony game. Um, for anyone who's wondering, this course is completely different from my first course, Jazz Piano Secrets. So there really is barely any overlap. They are completely designed to be separate courses. Jazz Piano Secrets is a fundamental course that takes you through an entire improvisation system that I call the Neo Jazz Piano Method. Whereas Jazz Piano Evolutions is built to then take that foundation that you built in Jazz Piano Secrets and help you blossom in other directions by giving you way more two-hand improvisation techniques. You'll notice here that the next unit we start doing improvised counterpoint. So this is actually the ability to play lines in both hands at once. It's something that you might see a lot of modern players doing. And I think it's gonna be a really, really important skill because pianists 
we are now starting to be expected to do more. Again, break away from that boring old just left hand accompaniment, right hand soloist structure. We can actually do so much more and that's a huge part of this course. Again, as far as I know, I haven't seen a structured methodology for this anywhere else. So I'm really excited about this being part of the course. Now, another huge part of the course is of course, I call it ear training for the future. So we start doing some really interesting ear training that's actually going to train you to hear polyphony or polyphonic chords even. It sounds ridiculous, but imagine how great your ears would be if you could instantly recognize, oh, that's A flat major seven over F major seven. So these are really, really important techniques that again are, are basically designed to shoot your skills into the stratosphere. Um, and that ear training continues as well. So basically what we've got here, we've got dissonance absorption, the ability to really internalize dissonance and make it something that you are a master of rather than something that you can't quite understand. Then we have uh, voicing and harmony techniques that are going to allow you to do way more interesting movements with your voicings within tunes, diatonic mastery, intervallic, and much more than that in the chorus, also adding motion to those and more. So that's really, really important is being able to do more with your voicings. A lot of people think it's just about learning more and more voicings. Honestly, that's not gonna get you where you wanna be. In my experience teaching many, many, many students, what you need to do is learn how to actually get so much more mileage out of the good voicings that you already know. That's what's really going to propel you much more quickly into a higher level of playing. Then of course we have two hand uh, separation. I call these musical brain twisters and these are really interesting exercises that are designed to specifically make your brain stop thinking of your left and right hand in those typical roles. And it's really hard, really amazing work. If you can get through this stuff, it is going to literally build connections in your brain that will stay there for the rest of your life. Um, and then we go into texture integration. I forgot to mention that. So um, a huge thing for me is I love classical music. I love it so much, but I'm not able to learn all that many classical pieces because A, time is limited. B, they're very technically challenging. And I'm like, man, this is really kind of lame because I wish I could learn so many more of these pieces. There are all these incredible techniques inside them. Well, texture integration is basically an entire methodology built around taking specific little bits from your favorite classical pieces and then learning to integrate that directly into your playing. So that is really, really cool stuff. Um, and again, if you wanna learn more about this stuff, I have examples of all of it on the actual info page, neojazzacademy.com slash JPE for Jazz Piano Evolutions. Again, neojazzacademy.com slash JPE. That's where you can learn way more about the course and also purchase it if you're interested. Um, and finally, a whole ear training section, right? With a lot of modern, interesting, cutting edge ear training techniques that I designed. Um, you know, as far, again, as far as I know, I'm sure other people have come up with a lot of this stuff, but I put this all together into a step-by-step -step course. I worked so hard on it and I really genuinely believe that if you take this course and work through it, you will never play the same way again. It will completely help you blossom into other levels of creativity that you have probably not experienced before. Now I wanna let you know, the course is open until Friday night at midnight Pacific time, California time. So if you're interested, I actually have not opened up the course in an entire year, so I'm really excited to be doing that again. We will be doing weekly live streams and we're limiting the course to 75 slots. So basically registration closes either when the course fills up or Friday at midnight PST. I don't wanna do more than 75 because that's what we did last time and there were just a ton of people. It was a little bit too much for myself and the few people I work with to handle. So we're limiting it to 75 again, just like we used to with my Jazz Piano Secrets course. That number seems to work a lot better for us. So if you're interested in joining again, please be sure to click the link in the description. And if you have any questions about the course, be sure to leave them in the comments section. Now, just moving on really quick, I also wanna let you know that we have a Discord community. And in the Discord community, this, uh, this little tab in the course will basically 
uh, show you how to get into the private channel specifically for Jazz Piano Evolutions course members. And myself and a couple other really knowledgeable pianists are always in that Discord responding to your questions. So when you purchase a course from me, you're not actually just left on your own with no way of getting any feedback or understanding what to do. We do our absolute best to be um, in the Discord answering questions and helping you all out as frequently as we possibly can. So it's an amazing community. There are people to network with and the information when it's hard, you can come in and ask us for help as well. In addition, of course, to the actual weekly live streams, which we'll do for eight weeks as part of the course launch as well. All right, uh, I feel like I've been talking for way too long as usual and hopefully I covered everything. This gave you a nice look at the course portal. But again, if you're interested in joining, uh, be sure to click the link in the description or go to neojazzacademy.com slash jpe. Feel free to comment any questions or shoot me an email, info at uh, jazzpianoconcepts.com. Again, info at jazzpianoconcepts.com is the best email for that. And yeah, okay, great. I hope to see you in the course. I'm really excited about it and um, talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching.